Hi guys, I'm Lee. I'm director of Bearham Engines. Uh, just thought I'd give you a little run around our workshop. Uh, so we've only done a couple of videos so far. Um, first is the, the Jaguar over here. We've done part one of the strip down and machine processing and that. So we've got part two to come on that. Um, so yeah, just a little run around our workshop really, just to sort of show you what we've got and what we've got going on. Uh, this is our cylinder head sort of section, if you like. We've got the valve seat cutter here, which we do the three face um, valve seats on. And a fairly trick bit of kit. It's, it's a CNC head on that. So yeah, we've got various cylinder heads uh, here. We've got a Riley block there that we're in the process of doing. Uh, we've got a Willys Jeep engine, which is almost done. Looking a bit better than when it arrived here. Um, here we've got various engines. I won't go too into depth with these. We'll, we'll be doing videos on all these, but this is a an Alpha 1750 Spider engine. Halfway through, we've got a very special Lagonda Rapier engine here, which uh, I'll give you a full story on that at some point. But that's pretty trick. Uh, everything on it is aftermarket and modified, and what a nightmare. Uh, this is the Jaguar, which we've done part one of. And as you'll be seeing in the part two video soon on that. Uh, we've got here an Audi Quattro UR engine, 1983. Remember the old uh, the short wheelbase, short wheelbase version of that. Yeah, that come in in a, a, a pile of rust, really. But yeah, that's well on its way. Here we've got our machining section, if you like. Uh, we've got a block up uh, at the minute, but this is our head refacing machine and blocks, obviously. So it's a, essentially a fly cutter which skims over the top. Uh, we've got our Prince crank grinder, which if you'd have watched part one of the Jag video, you'd have seen us grinding a crank in action there. Got the Miller machine, it's in the CNC machine, it's just a three axis machine which I do things like valve pockets on pistons and skin manifolds. And various things like that. I expect you'll, you'll see that in action on one of our videos. We've got the hone again, you'd have seen that in action on the Jag vid. Uh, cylinder head and block pressure testing rig to test the cracks on that. This is the surface grinder which we do like shims for valve clearances and things like that on there. A small lathe obviously for turning small components. We've got the uh, our big lathe, the Elliott lathe. This is what we do the flywheels and stuff like that on there. Um, this is probably one of the machines we use the most, the crank balancing machine. So we, it's done on a two axis sensor. It sort of moves forwards and backwards. Uh, you've got the dials here, all pretty old school air equipment, but it all does the job. Um, so yeah, we sort of balance the crank assembly from end to end. Starting with right, then the front pulley, then the left. Obviously the flywheel and the clutch. Clutches is the most important thing, really. We normally find that they're massively out. Um, and usually, the more expensive the clutch, the worse they are. Um, so yeah, got some stuff on the go there. This is our, a bit untidy, but this is our rig for doing the welding. So at the minute, this is actually the Jaguar head uh, that we've done the video on. You see at the top there, it's a few areas where the gasket has been blown for quite a long time. We had to sort of grind that out, weld it back. And, um, but yeah, you'll see that in the part two of the video for the Jag build. We'll put that on. Here's our little um, rig for reboring blocks. You see the camera's on the go at the minute. This is a, a YB Cosworth block, which I'm putting duct tire line and liners in, top of the liners. It's a sort of mod that we do. That's on the top. And, 
Um, you can take them back to standard or whatever you want, really. Um, so, yeah, as I say, I've got a video in progress at the minute, a time-lapse video, to show you how I install those liners. Um, yeah, so that's it, really. It's, see our little setup. We will be doing plenty of videos in the future of things like we've got our CR500 over there, which we've restored, so I'll sort of be running you around that, show you what we've done. And this is the to-do and the done shelf, as you <laughs> if you like so yeah thanks very much guys uh, just a little run around the workshop so at least when you watch our videos you, you sort of know where things are done and how they're done yeah thanks a lot for watching don't forget to uh, press that subscribe button 